Hello there guys, Cupcake here. Today I'm going to introduce you to League of Legends new Gladiator mode. To start this off, I'll explain about the basic rule called the Arena. The Arena is the area where the Gladiators prove their might. And if a Gladiator goes out of the bounds, it's cheating. I have indicated the lines where you may not pass, and the arrows are the entryways. The battle has begun. You always host gladiator mode on Dominion with draft pick. That way you can ban the champions you don't like, feel threat enough, or just ban face. Okay? Ban him. Trust me. The game plays out in a way where one of each team goes out to the arena and fight each other until one of them dies. And when one of them dies, the next ally in turn enters the arena. The fight order is based on the pick order in the champion select. It may not be changed by any means during the combat. And the fun thing is, if someone leaves in this uh, game mode, as long as there is at least three people left in a team, the game is not over. It's still quite balanced. You may use global skills from spawn when it's not your turn. Let's say like uh, Ezreal, Jinx, Ash. Th their skills can be used from spawn to assist an ally in a fight. That's no problem because th that's some of the... Well, it's a part of the strategy you can use when you build your team in the draft mode. But when you look at Pantheon and Twisted Fate, they can not use it the same way. Twisted Fate can, of course, use it to grant vis vision to his ally if someone is brush duking, of course. But he may only enter if his ally dies and it becomes his turn. Then it can just, uh, I don't know, surprise butt sex the poor guy in the middle of the lane. And there's one champion that is quite special in this case, and that's Shen. He may not use his ulti, but he will be fully able in the tag team mode I will reveal later in this video. The game ending depends totally on what you agree of in the beginning of the game. Uh, let's say there's two alternative endings. The first one is when one team is at 450 Nexus HP or the other one is at 400. Depending on how long the game you want, how much gear you want to gather meanwhile and stuff like that. And we, after all our calculations and tries and stuff like that, the game with 450 Nexus HP takes about 20 minutes plus minus a couple of minutes. And you get close to full gear, but not really. And if you play the 400 HP version, then you will, oh well, in the most case scenario, you will get full gear. And it takes about half an hour, plus minus some extras. And when one te team drops down to the agreed amount of health, they have to surrender. And to round this up, I'm going to present to you Gladiator Tag Team Mode. It's basically the sem same thing as Gladiator mode, except that you have two people in the arena at all times. Or well, you have two versus two fighting and when one dies, the next one enters, so that basically the game will flow a bit better, it will be much quicker and... That, it, well, if you don't like the slow paced game style of Gladiator mode, try this one instead, I think it will appeal to you more. But anyway guys, peace out for this fine evening, now I'm gonna play some gladiator mode. Yeah!